this study is with the design of a prototype of people, so it's not uh, a complete people, but uh, it can be uh, a benchmark machine. I'd like uh, to have a brief summary in which I will present you, which is the procedure I follow during my work. Then we'll see an introduction about uh, telescopic handles, and we'll proceed with the analysis of the existing internal conduct sparse energy power at that once. Then uh, we'll have uh, uh, an overview of uh, automotive hydrogen technology because uh, these uh, interesting uh, environmentally friendly solutions are kept uh, from the automotive world. Then uh, join these two ideas, we would uh, uh, conceive the first idea of an environmentally friendly TV and uh, and then I'd like to show you some interesting models I, I failed to evaluate energetic balance and power management for this kind of uh, electric prototype. And then we we'll see results of this work and uh, conclusions. So after understanding how an actual telescopic vehicle works, so after understanding how an internal combustion engine power vehicle works and analyzing innovative solutions from automotive world, so studies about hydrogen, studies about uh, electric uh, machine, electric in-wheel motors and all these kind of components, it is conceived the idea of a new environmentally friendly TV answer. As I said before, uh, I build three different models to evaluate energy consumption and power management in three different environments. So I was able to compare the result and uh, I could uh, use the result to design the new prototype. I could I use the design to choose the new component to install in the prototype. We know that uh, telescopic vehicles are very successi successful machines and uh, they work very well in a lot of different environments. But we know also that nowadays uh, the interest uh, about uh, environmental pollution and energetic sustainability is very high. It's very high, but uh, uh, this happens mainly in uh, individual and public transportation system. Uh, few people care about what happens with working machines. But of course, if uh, in the future uh, we'll have zero emission or low environmental impact uh, cars and trucks, uh, will be interesting also in uh, low emission working machines like the others. So the goal of the thesis, the aim of this work has been the design of the prototype of a low environmental impact telescopic using existing technologies. This is because I would like that uh, this project uh, is possible to be built today with technology and with the product we have today on the market. So at the end the work has been innovative but uh, don't want to be futuristic because it will uh, uh, be possible to build uh, such a vehicle today. We'll go through the analysis of the internal combustion engine power existing TV under. Uh, they are produced in a very wide range of model and size according to their they coupled with an hydraulic transmission. They have no suspension and they are uh, the motion is driven by half-pitted wheels. And the most important tool is the arm that can be fit with uh, special tools to uh, give uh, a, a good versatility to these this people to perform a lot of different tasks in different fields. Uh, in between this wide range of telescopic vehicles, I had to identify the vehicle design parameters to use for my prototype. I chose a compact vehicle, I chose to analyze and convert to an ecologic uh, machine a compact vehicle, mainly because it, it is more cheap, it is cheaper than a bigger machine, but it is also, it's also simpler and uh, the power and the energy that uh, these with are smaller. So it's easier nowadays to think about that conversion. We can see a scheme of hydraulic actual transmission and uh, I made also a market analysis. I analyzed uh, four similar TV handles 
of this size from four different manufacturers. And so the starting data of my thesis is an average of this, uh, this data. I collected data relying on manufacturers' uh, brochures. I collected data uh, about uh, the power, about the performances, and analyze, I analyzed that and averaged that to obtain a, a good starting point. Because the aim of the thesis is to build a low environmental impact prototype with the same performances and characteristics of this existing one. So it will be able to replace it in a way uh, transparent to the driver and to the operator. The workspace, the ideal workspace for a, a similar ecological meander <coughs> will be mainly urban, outdoor, but also indoor areas. So these are the spaces in which the environmental criteria are stronger also because uh, uh, often there is human presence or work on work inside and so it's very dangerous for the health to work eight hours a day very close to uh, an internal combustion engine vehicle as today happens. Uh, these vehicles are, are not uh, made for agricultural application because there are not so strict emission problems in open spaces like in agriculture, and agricultural vehicles are subject to a very heavy duty. So they are very power demanding, and so agriculture is not uh, the target of these uh, converted vehicles. Uh, I took uh, um, a lot of information from uh, Automotive World uh, uh, for whom concern uh, the new technologies and the new way to power vehicles and to generate energy. The aim uh, was uh, uh, to create a zero emission working, at least on working locations, and to have a very high efficiency. To have an, an higher efficiency uh, and zero emission immediately uh, brings us to build an electric vehicle. Uh, have you thought about um, using your own model, like because you said that the method and uh, which you worked was basically uh, a method? Have you thought about applying it to earth uh, vehicles? Yeah, I think that this kind of method can be applied on any hydraulic uh, powered uh, vehicle. Uh, in this specific way, I define four bodies, so I consider it part of the vehicle. But it will be the same with a crank or with uh, any kind of actuators on a centered earth moving, moving vehicle. Because uh, at the end, I took uh, the rolling resistance uh, power definition model from some studies of uh, Sudan that deal mainly with uh, off-road uh, earth moving vehicles. So they are quite simple. They have no suspension. They are hydraulic. Uh, System powered by diesel engine, and so there are similarities, and it can be, I think, successfully used also on this kind of systems. Do you have an idea on cost if you adapt this model? Yeah. As I as I told before, uh, the cost of the fuel uh, cell module is more or less one thousand euro per kilo. Then there is the cost of of uh, in wheel electric motors. And this is a quite high cost, mainly because it requires a bit of development, a bit of design. Uh, I try to look for some some cost indication, and I came out with uh, twenty thousand euro for each in wheel motor. This is the cost for a prototype of in wheel motor that uh, build and installed on a Citroen car that more or less have the same torque. Uh, characteristic of the one I need, but of course this depends a lot on how many people because at the end this would be a quite cheap concern. But nowadays is I think the point is that it will be interesting to use something existing so the cost will be very low to adapt something. For instance Salver Dunford that is the same brand that actually provides provides the hydraulic motor provides also uh, electric motors. But if we want uh, this kind of torque, so 
quite a pretty high torque. The motors is equipped with a kit normally with a very clear gear. And so the efficiency is a bit low in the way it's yeah. developed. So the, I guess there is an issue of cost, but yeah. it can be dealt with if you're you making a, a large number. Exactly. Uh, the, the only component that has uh, some problem now what <coughs> is is the in Because the other components are uh, easy to find because also the, the hydrogen cylinders are easy to find. The fuel cell module is a, a, a solid product on the market. Is, is there a uh, cost effectiveness from the point of view of energy it means if you're using the fuel cell versus uh, using the uh, current uh, fuel you know, diesel. Yeah, according to the uh, automotive 